Hey guys and welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be doing a video on things to know online. So this is um, stuff that I've found really helpful. So communities, um, pages, people to talk to, um, where to find part numbers, where to order genuine uh, parts for a reasonable price and loads of other great stuff like manuals, how-to guides, fault finding and all that great stuff. So um, before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Right, so let's start with possibly my most favorite e uh, online site, which is Seven Zap. Now this is a online catalog for basically anything, for any car really. Um, it's a full directory of all part numbers and where they go, how they fit and all that great stuff. So what we'll do, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you it while I talk about it. So it's uh, a lot easier to understand. And what I'll do is everything we're discussing today will be down in the description and um, I recommend if anyone has anything that I haven't mentioned that you find helpful again drop it into the comments we really appreciate that uh, it's always nice to share things with others and uh, I'm always always up for seeing new things um, that I've not seen before so I'll spin the camera around and we'll jump into this sevens app right so open up a web page and of course you'll be on the parrot bros because that's your favorite website to look at um, and what we'll do is we'll type in www.7zap.com and that will bring up, uh, I'll tell you what, let's do it fully like we're doing it, 7zap.com and this will show you exactly what I'll see. So now you click on this one here, which is the online catalogs and then obviously like I said before, you can pretty much pick any car, but today we'll focus on Audis. Um, and then we're going to go for our model, which is for the argument of this video, TTs, which because I'm looking from behind the camera, I'm struggling to find. Obviously, I've already got a saved page for it. There it is, TT slash TTS. Now, um, because we're Mark 1 focused, 99 to 2006. And then what you want to do is find your model year and then ideally it helps if you know your engine code because it'll be a bit more specific to your car. Now I've got a 2001 BAM, so we'll just scroll till I see 2001. Um, and then here we go, oh, 2000, so that's the next page. Okay, here you go, so let Audi TT 2001 BAM. So that's what I've got. So now we're on this web page, let me make it a bit bigger. Um, now you can see here, it takes a bit of getting used to as to where to find the parts, but it's trial and error. Just have a good go at it. You'll soon suss it out. So let's say I wanted a rear anti-roll bar bracket because mine is crumbly and horrible. So um, these are all the different categories in the rear axle one. Now there is stuff here for both two wheel drive and four wheel drive. So do um, double check it. You can see there the difference from two wheel drive to four wheel drive. Um, so best thing, if you don't know, have a quick look under your car and uh, then have a look at this. So axle guide and rear wishbone so this is see there look so this is what i want there that's the actual part i need let's zoom in a bit so you can see um i need number 23 oh sort my camera out so there that number 23 this little bracket here and i'll need to order some bolts as well which i've already got so click on number 23 and that takes you to this little beauty here so there look number 23 which gives you a part number which is AL9511411, it says you need two. Um, so it also gives you quantities. And like I said, if you needed the bolt as well, um, you just click on number 21. And then again, that will give you number 21 there. So it says that you need four, which obviously two for each side, and it gives you the part number. Um, so what I'll do is uh, I'll make a note of the part numbers. And then what I'll do is when we discuss another section in a minute, I'll explain where we can buy that stuff from. So you've got the guide there to so say, is relatively straightforward. Like I said, just have a good little play through it. You'll soon suss out where things are. Um, say, for instance, front suspension. This is one of the good things I've learned about this, and it also helps you if you're not particularly car-minded or you just wanted some reassurance. Things like this, look, it shows you in which order all the parts go. So if you decide to take your suspension apart and you forgot which, whether the bearing goes underneath or on top of this or this goes the other way around or whatever, that gives you a full guide. And also obviously you can see here things like, uh, it gives you the bolts, the bearings, the ball joints and all this sort of stuff. So if you're looking at trying to maybe save some money um, by ordering your car parts on eBay, 
this will give you a good indication. Let's say, for instance, the shock absorber. So number 21, come over to here to number 21. It gives you a few different options. Um, usually, we'll go for the latest revision, but it does say uh, the different options. But it gives you an idea there, so you've got a part number, and you can have a quick look on eBay and see which ones are suitable for you. Same with things like top mounts. Um, you might find they're quite expensive from, say, Euro Carp or something like that. But if you type in this part number here into eBay, you'll get a mass of parts um, and it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than probably Euro Car parts. So that is a good one to bear in mind. So that is 7Zap. So I'll put the um, the details online on my description below. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll go back to the beginning just so I can quickly go through it for you. So um, go on 7Zap.com, click on online catalogs, obviously pick the brand you want. We'll go for Audi, and then you need to find your specific model, uh, which is our TT. And then don't don't worry about all these. Where it's, if obviously if you've got a Roadster or a coupe, uh, sorry, a convertible, then you may need to pick different ones. But just for your normal Audi TTs, click on that, and then pick your year and engine code. Um, if you don't know your engine code, if you have a little look online, you'll be able to find out where to find it. So that is seven zap, all done. Right, so now you've been on 7Zap, you've made a big list of all the parts that you want to replace genuine, so your bolts, your brackets, your nuts, your whatever, whatever it is that you want to order. And obviously you've looked online and they're quite expensive. Now, I use um, two places. One is TPS, but you need a trade account. So ideally, a mechanic um, who uses them regularly to get a decent price. Or you can use a company called Coverdale Car Parts. Now, they're based on Facebook. They do have a website. Um, I'll put all their details down in the description. And they basically deal with all VAG, so Vol uh, Volkswagen, Audi Group parts, and they will get you a really good price because they're ordering from there 30, 40, 50 times a day. They get probably one of the best discounts, and they are very great guys. They will go through part numbers with you. They'll check what you need, um, and they won't rip you off. So they're definitely worth a look. What I'll do is, again, I'll flip the camera around, and we'll have a quick look at their web page, um, and I'll show you some of their details. Right, so if you go onto Facebook and type in Coverdale Car Parts, this will be their logo here. Click on that, and that will take you to their page. Now, um, there's a few ways of getting in contact with them. If you click on their About section, just here, this will give you all their contact information, which is there. So they've got a website, they've got email address, they've got Instagrams, they've got all sorts of stuff. I normally just use call their number. Um, or if you're on Facebook and you want to send them a message and you've got a list of part numbers, um, best thing you can do is just open a chat with them. I'll just zoom out a little bit there. Um, and just say, type in, uh, I'm looking for a pair of, and then remember we had 8L9511411, which is the anti roll bar brackets. Um, and just ping them a message saying, can I have a quote, please? And they are, they're, they're online already, so they're raring to go and um, they will be able to provide you with a very reasonable quote. Um, I've not actually been able to beat them um, on price before, so they are pretty much match what TPS will give you price-wise or even better if they can. So um, that is worth a good look if you're looking for some genuine parts like your nuts and bolts and stuff, if you're doing a big swap out like I am, or if you're just um, doing some sort of general maintenance and you wanted some good genuine parts, they are the place to go. So that is ordering genuine car parts online. Next, let's talk about car communities. Now, um, there's a couple of options. I will go on the first one now. Now, this is www.ttforum.co.uk. And this is, pretty much like it says in the name, is a forum for anything TT. Now, um, I am a member. I'm not so much of a poster, but I do a lot of reading and I do a lot of research on here because if you look, we'll go down to the TT section, um, which is here. So TT Mark 1. So there is 148,000 topics with 1.6 million posts. So if you can't find what you're looking for in here, then the likelihood is it probably doesn't exist or it's just it's just never, ever been discussed, which is very unlikely. Um, and it's got a great search option. You can search for, say, for instance, let's say, let's say, uh, ARB upgrades, just a random one. I picked that top of my head. Um, and there's 111 matches. So, I mean, if you can't find the information there, there's eight pages of uh, information. So, certainly worth a look, guys. Um, it's free to register. 
Um, I think there's a small fee if you want full access to the marketplace and stuff like that. They mainly do it so that they can check that you're a genuine person. You're not going to spam it with loads of crap. What I would recommend is for anything, this is whether it's uh, on a forum or on a Facebook group or anything like that, use the search option because that nine, 999 times out of a 1,000, that will give you the information you need um, before you even have to ask the question. So instead of jumping on and saying, I'm new, I want to do this, that, and the other, um, honestly, if you just tap search, it'll be a lot easier and you'll find a lot more information and people will be a lot friendlier if you ask real technical questions than if you ask a question that's been asked 10,000 times already. So I'll put, again, the, the details down in the description, but that is ttforum.co.uk, and that is a massive wealth of information. Now, the other one, which is one of my favorite places, again, we'll go back to the old Facebook, um, and we will go on here and type in Audi, and it's the Audi TT Mark One Forum, no selling. Okay, so just pop this up. And this has got 18,500 members. So it is a massive resource. Now, one of the reasons this is a massive resource is because it has things like this, which is a file which has thousands of PDFs in, uh, manuals, how-to guides, things like the VAG code list. So if we click on this, there you go. So that, that gives you all the fault codes that you'll ever have if you plug in diagnostics. Um, and that's just on there for free. You can just click on it. There's 17 pages of that. So that is a massive resource. Um, I would fully recommend, if you're on Facebook, um, joining that. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. You don't need to scan through my friend list there. Um, but yeah, we'll go back into the group. I mean, discussion-wise, there's... Oh, that's hold on. There is hundreds of posts on a daily basis from things like um, perish pipes and sort of what upgrades there are available. Um, there's... Obviously, people have had MOT issues and they're looking for ideas on helping and fixing. There's modifications, what wheels, all sorts of great stuff. Um, so if you're on Facebook, 100% worth joining. Okay, look, anyone recognize this car? Nice blue TT there. I'm also a moderator on there, so you'll always find me giving some information where I can to try and help others. Uh, but it is a really great forum. Now, That if you're UK-based, they have quite a lot of meets. Obviously, not so much at the moment because of... Uh, lockdown and whatnot, but there will be plenty more in the future. So that is definitely worth a look. So that is, it is called Audi TT Mark One Forum and Community and in brackets, no selling. Um, so there's no sales on the site. It is purely just informational based only. Um, but like I said, it's got a wealth of information. And I mean, out of 18,500 people, there are some very knowledgeable people who post on quite a regular basis. So it is definitely worth a look, guys, if you're on Facebook. And there is a couple of other things I wanted to touch on quickly. Now, obviously, you guys know that there's my channel, um, the Power Bros, which is a great source of um, videos and how-tos and all that great stuff. There's loads, uh, there's loads and loads of videos. I think we've got nearly coming up to 70 videos now. Um, and the other one I wanted to touch on was there's a guy called Bryn, who is a friend of mine. And he is called BWSTT. Um, we'll just show his page there. Um, and he's got, I believe, 60 odd videos. Um, a lot of real technical stuff like um, how to change your radio. Let's have a look, see if we can click on his videos. Um, yeah, so like uh, snapping your clutch pedal, diagnosing a faulty coil pack, um, all this great stuff, your windows won't drop, injector seal replacement. So quite a lot of real technical um, guys uh, stuff, guys. So if you check that out, another great page. To be fair, between myself and him is probably the two most posted on um, pages on YouTube for Mark 1 TTs. And of course, there is the Parrot Bros website. Now this is something I've been working on, um, which is a work in progress, so do bear with us. But um, if you go on there, there's sort of four main categories um, which is all TT related stuff, some stuff about the S4, car related events and travel and my blog. And then obviously there's a little bit about me as well. Now, if you've not seen this on the Parrot Bros, a little bit about my car and the journey. Um, and then basically there's four categories of videos. Now that is, let's have a look. So interior, exterior, mechanical and technical specs and part numbers. Obviously I upload to this as regularly as I can. Um, if we go on say interior, there's loads of different options, things like uh, Bluetooth connectivity uh, for under 20 quid, 
how to fit a boost gauge. So I mean, if we click on this, just as an example, that's obviously fitted into my car. Um, and this is a bit of how to do it. And then whether you buy a budget gauge or an expensive gauge, um, fitting wise, how you mount them, whether you get a cheap mount or a slightly more expensive mount that fits a bit better. And this is a bit about wiring and how you plumb in the system. So there's, there is loads of stuff on there, guys. Um, again, we'll touch on car related events. So these are things that I've done that if you're a car guy, you'll probably enjoy. Um, this one was a great show with uh, over 100 Audi TT Mark 1s in attendance. That was pretty wicked. Um, and there's things like Ace Cafe, Track Days, uh, France and Monaco, Gurner the Nürburgring. Um, I just touched a little bit of information on like how much it costs realistically, where you can stay, and a few pictures of our journey. Um, and... Lastly, we'll go on to the blog. I've not really done too much on this. There's a couple of um, things on here which you can um, click on and read and you can make comments on. Um, that is something that we'll be focusing a bit more on in the future. So guys, that is um, us at the Parrot Bros. Um, and that is the video. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you found this information helpful. Like I said before, if you know of anything that I've not touched on, feel free to jump into the comments and I'll add it to the description of the video because it's always helpful um, to get knowledgeable information for everyone and the community. It's such a great community, the Mark 1 TTs, and it would be nice to share that information with everyone. And I just wanted to thank everyone for watching, guys. That's another video from the Parrot Bros. Bye for now.